Uh, my skin is not a tattoo. The color of my skin is not who I am. Not what I do or where you think I've been. It's just a meat drape hung on calcium and collagen. Solely the without my within. It is not some tattoo. It is more of an idiosyncratic cellular voodoo. Not just a simple flesh tone and super glue. It was not voluntary, nor something I can undo. Not a cosmic gaffe, an existential excuse, or some egregious sin. It's just the heavy meta jacket the universe stuck me in. My skin is not a tattoo. All you may see in my mirror is no reflection upon you. I beg, do not pretend to know who I am before you examine what I do. There is this judgment of the sexes, an implication of the vices. Dark words matter in this vicious, vicious hyperbolic juju of irrelevant differences and prejudicial devices. We weaponize words, build hurtful inventions, use pugilistic pejoratives with crass intentions, anything to stay angry, to be mean or cruel. There are those too who hide quite well behind a righteous whitewashed veil, flaunting some ill-conceived glorified genes. Sorry to inform you, there are no supreme beings. No absolutely perfect human recipe, no special sauce, nor concocted final solution. Close your eyes. That is where we live. That is the purity of the soul. The body, just an inconvenient form. Courage, Chavez, cooperation, Indian reservations, and to make a prominent point, the railroaded Chinese. Let us humanize, not demonize, all manner of human excellence that is found in the beautiful palette and the wide brushstroke of human existence. We are just flesh, dancing with the stars, nursing unnecessary scars. You can do your best to deny the truth, but this is who we are. We are all on the same team. We could use a sea change and the human race could use some long distance runners. But whether I am coming together or falling apart really doesn't matter. I really care. Do you? I am the fleeting light of human privilege walking through the brutal nominal zoo where we use words as weapons for degradation, derision, and to needlessly divide eviscerate the sameness we all feel inside. You do not have to understand to be a part of understanding. Any certain race, creed, or color has to be understood. Know that love moves us forward and hate only moves us back because, because we create these smug, dismissive monsters in our head. I don't know who I am any more than you. I hope you will find that who I am is merely what I do.